Wow. 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 The tribal council last night was kind of crazy. So I went in absolutely knowing that I was on the chopping block. I could tell Julie was playing me for the past two days. She tried to butter me up and, and convince me that she really wanted to get Phil out. And I just did not believe that at all. I pretended that I thought I was going home. I pretended like I had no hope and it kind of worked. I ended up with three votes on me, but I played my idol. So I was able to save myself. We tried to take out Claire. We put three votes her way. Uh, luckily we had a backup plan because she whipped that idol out, but we did put one vote towards Rachel, which ended up saving uh, Julie was, was the intended vote, I think. It stinks. I mean, Rachel was working with us, but it was the backup plan and, and the backup plan was needed, unfortunately, for her. Come on in, guys! <laughs> oh. Taggy, looking at the new Pagan tribe, Rachel voted out at the last tribal council. I am officially nervous that there's gonna be a swap tonight. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm not positive what will happen because of this. In the back of my head, I keep thinking, when's the tribe swap? I feel like it's coming. Pretty sure we're gonna have a tribe swap tonight. This can go very bad for me in a lot of different ways, so we'll see how it plays out. All right, guys, before we get to today's challenge, you should know, expect the unexpected. It's time to shake things up. Uh -oh. Drop your bug! Oh no. We oh. are switching tribes! Oh boy, here we go. Random, random draw. draw, random draw. Okay. Random draw. Oof. All right, let's see how this shook out. On Toggy, we have four original Toggy that stayed. Eric, Emily, Sean, and Rob with one Pagong Phil. And on Pagong, we have three original Pagong, Julie, Tom, and Claire, and two Toggy moving over, Zach and Tucker. Sean, how are you feeling about this uh, breakdown here? I mean, just going off of, you know, are you going to be with a lot of new people or not a lot of new people? I feel pretty good that I've only got one new person to suss out. Phil, I mean, you're the only Pagong moving over to Tagi. How do you feel about that? Uh, um, you know, this kind of reminds me of when a, um, a horse gets separated from its pack and, and finds itself in a pack of zebras. Um, and, okay, I just try to do what they do in Survivor and pull out ridiculous analogies off the top of their head. Somehow, I... Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it'll be fun. I'll, I'll try and get to know the new group. And, um, you know, it, it's it's daunting, but uh, that's what you come on Survivor for, right? If you're going to join the Zebras right now, this challenge is time to earn your stripes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> the twist drops. Jeff says the infamous words, drop your buffs. My fears about a tribe swap happened, but the results could not have been better. I still have the NYC3, me, Eric, and Sim. I think I did okay in the switch up, but I wish we could have had some new people come join our tribe because I think that that would have made for an interesting uh, dynamic. So the thing that everyone was dreading just happened, the swap. And I just knew my luck would be Minority Tagi against Majority Pagong. But also this game allows for pre-existing relationships. And everyone's had one. I've had two. Zach's in my pocket. And little do they know that Claire is in my pocket. So it looks like a Majority Pagong, Minority Tagi is about to be turned on its head. Julie and I are still on Pagong, so that's a little awkward. Uh, we are obviously both out for each other. However, the numbers did land on my side because I have Zach and Tucker. Here we are inside the medicine cabinet. Hopefully this isn't too on the nose, a visual metaphor for what I'm going through after last night's uh, tribe swap. We had the numbers on our side up until swap. Weaving, meet Julie, Phil, 
And uh, that was more or less what we were going to take to the end of the game. Uh, now Phil is on a ostensibly hostile Tagi tribe. Julie and I are on a very much, I think, hostile uh, Pagong, Pagang gang. <sighs> Guys, I got to be real. I'm pretty pessimistic about uh, how this is going to go. All right, guys, that's not the only twist tonight, because on Tuesday, both tribes are going to tribal council, which means that today's challenge is an individual immunity challenge where one person from each tribe will win individual immunity safe from the vote. All right, guys. I gave you a heads up a couple days ago. A lot of you have been practicing. The first round of the challenge tonight is the Oreo face challenge, where you will put a cookie on your head and move it to your mouth using only your face muscles, no hands, no throwing it in the air and catching it, no funny business, straightforward, touching your face. Don't try to get creative. The first three people from each tribe to get the cookie into their mouth are moving on to part two of this challenge. Survivors ready, go. We are looking for three people to move on to round two of this challenge. Zach is moving on, Tucker is moving on. We're looking for one more. Julie, moving on. All right, survivors ready, go. Uh. Rob, Rob has it, Rob's moving on. Sorry. is so close. Come in, baby. Is moving on. <laughs> We're looking for one more. <laughs> Bill's cookie falls. <laughs> I can barely see it. <laughs> Eric, Eric is moving on <laughs> for leg two of this challenge. I am going to name something that I need for you to bring to me. And the first two people to get back with this item is moving on to the final round of this challenge. Bring me your driver's license by itself outside of a wallet, go. First two back are moving on. All right, Zach is back. <laughs> She's gotta get it out of the wallet. She's struggling to get it out of the wallet. Where is Tucker? I don't know where Tucker is. <laughs> He's like downstairs. Tucker's like going to his car. Here Tucker, he hurry! Oh, no, he turned. He's not back. Uh, where's his wallet is? I don't think Tucker knows where his wallet is. Julie, Julie is your is is glued to your wallet? She can't get it out of the wallet. Tucker, do you have it? Tucker is moving yeah. on. <laughs> Julie, unmute yourself and please tell us what happened. <laughs> Okay. You know what happened is that I went to the liquor store before this and I always leave it a little bit out because this wallet like heats it up and I had to push it in so that they could see the date and just I'm going to be sending a firmly worded essay to Michael Kors. I need you to bring me a shoelace removed from the shoe. Go. <laughs> It has to be fully removed from that shoe for it to count. We got Rob untying. We got Eric unlacing. We got Sean back with the shoe. He's unlacing. Got it. Rob and Sean, it. that's it. <laughs> the final leg of this challenge. It is going to be a plank off. Straightforward as that. Forearm plank as long as you can. Last person standing from each tribe is going home with individual immunity. So we're gonna have Tucker versus Zach and Sean versus Rob. Survivors ready, go. I wanna see some nice form. I wanna see 
those butts down, that core tucked in, we could be here all night or probably max like two to three minutes. This is gonna take something out of you, but let me tell you, a lot of this is gonna come down to willpower. How badly do you want immunity on Tuesday night? You've gotta dig deep. You have officially reached two minutes. These guys are not moving. You are going to find out right now what your longest plank is. Have you been wondering this about yourself? Because you're about to find out. Oh, Tucker is down. Zach, you have individual immunity. You are officially at four minutes. That's insane. Plank. John is bouncing. What is Rob, is, Rob is all over the place. Yeah. Sounds like God. We already knew this. How does oh. everyone watching feel about Rob's plank right now? His butt's up. That's not strong. <laughs> I think Rob's on his knees. I, Rob is. Oh, Rob is so on his knees. All right, Sean, you win immunity. <laughs> Woo! Rob does not know. Five and a half minutes, Sean. That is it. Sean and Zach have won individual immunity on Tuesday night, where both tribes will be going to tribal council. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job, Sean. Head back to camp. Good night. Let's effing go. Individual immunity. I am so proud. I am so happy right now. I am walking on air tonight. Could not have gone better. Just very disappointing performance from myself. Who knows how I would have done on the rest of it, but uh, didn't get a chance. So I needed that uh, uh, immunity. I, I absolutely needed that immunity necklace around my neck. As far as tribal goes, we all have to go. Um, I feel okay about it. I hope it's gonna be an easy vote, but if it's not, then I am prepared to play my idol if necessary because I do not wanna go home right now. Do I go cut and dry and just go with the easy vote and get people to vote out Phil? Or do I nip possibly a bigger problem in the butt and get rid of the more erratic player in Rob. I feel like I'm in the driver's seat right now. And that is a great feeling. Look, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not the type of person to give up. I'm gonna try every single one of my new tribe members to see if I can poke a hole, to see if I can wiggle my way into this tribe. But I just, I'm, I'm worried that there's not enough time The question becomes, how tight-knit are Claire, Tucker, Zach? Is that unit unsplittable, or are there fractures? And can Julie and I work our way in, potentially flip Tucker against Zach, potentially flip Claire against Zuck? Bad news. Uh, once the merge hits, we're still in the minority and might get voted out. The good news is we're four votes deep in this game, and not a single person has realized that we're working together or that we're dating. No one currently knows that Tucker and Claire date um, and that I know both of them from UGA. So we're going to hopefully work together and try and get to the final three, getting rid of all the Walton and New York people. Uh, it's a bit of a scramble. There's all kinds of angles to be worked. <laughs> so this morning I took a shot in the dark and after one uh, idol clue guessed and got the hidden immunity idol. So going into the merge, Tucker, Claire, and I have safety potentially for at least one tribal. So things are looking up.